X Nation, Jada RD with my guest. Doug the Three. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Doug the Three, what are you from? I'm from Dorita, Louisiana, 337 area code. I like to call it Dragonland. I heard it's pretty small down there. It's very small, very small. The population is only a couple thousand people. Everybody know everybody. Everybody go to school with each other. Yeah. How was it like? Was it? How was it like down there? In the um, man, I. It was shit. It was just growing up like shit. Most oh. like shit. Most of my days as as a youth, I spent playing basketball. And shit like that. I spun outside, but you know what I'm saying? I didn't keep too many friends around. Not in shit. If you you had to have a great bond with me to be around. Yeah. Other than that, like shit, I'm like a ghost in my city. <laughs> yeah, I understand that. But why did you not just choose basketball? What made you go to your career as being a artist? Man, I you know most you know, I'm going to go ahead and put it out there. Like most, from what I could tell and from what I could see, most artists in this industry, they, they start off with hoop dreams, you know, and they want to play basketball first. I could tell by some of those celebrities that are good that I see at the All-Star Games. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, like these guys, man, like some of us have these hoop dreams and I was one of these guys, you know, but choices in life decision making, you know, it's... It took a course of his own. Well, was you expired? 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 Inspired? Yeah, expired of being. What? What expired you of being an artist? Um, I remember one day being in elementary school, second grade. Mm -hmm. I was at the age of nine. I remember this guy had came by. We were standing on uh, Robert Street in Dorita, Louisiana, where I'm from. And we had, uh, this guy had came through with a laptop and he was showing my uncles and they, he was playing his music. And as I was listening to his music, I was liking it and I was like, well, damn, like, I want to learn how to do that shit. And like, as a kid at nine years old, I wrote my first song, my first lyrics, I'll say. And of course it wasn't up to par. I don't even really remember what I said, but I remember from then up until now, it, it just never stopped since. <laughs> well, well, the other question is, who did you look up, who did you look up to besides other artists? In the area? Or yeah, around you, like you're like growing um, up. Other artists that I looked up to that was in my area, it was guys like, uh, it was a guy like, it was a guy named D'Lo that was around. He was my uncle's name, Pierre. They went to school together, they were good friends. But he would make music and like he would burn these CDs and like he would let me listen. And I would pick up on how lyrical he was and his style of rap and it was, it was pretty neat to be from this small place. And I thought if he could do it, I knew that I could do it. And you know, it, <clears throat> that was one of those guys in the area that I kind of picked up on. And there's many more. There's guys like Tony Bones, who, who's from that area, who helped me out when I was a younger, younger kid, <laughs> you know, in junior high and stuff like that. But you know, it's a lot of guys, a lot of guys with talent out here. Faye Haiti, there's got a lot of talent. I can't get into all the names, but you know who you are. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, right. Well, another question I wanted to ask, just being me personally, is, let me think about it. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm going to come back, I'm going to come back. Uh, as being where you at right now, what do you think about it? As far as my career? Mm-hmm. Um... Uh, Man, it's been it's been some rough and ragged days, you know. Most times it's like when I make music, it's more of a venting thing than, you know, just wanting to be famous or wanting fame or money or whatever the case may be. But 
is more of a Venn thing for me. And you know, as far as I can see with the projects that I do let out and I do just put out there, it's like, man, I'm, it's not all my best of work, but I'm pretty proud of it. Cause I like the progression of it. And cause I could tell that I keep getting better with every piece, with every masterpiece. I feel like, you know, if I ain't heard right now, you'll hear from me later on, I guarantee this. But with all these but with all these other young people out here, what you be what you what I heard people say, these people pitting down the balls, basketball is picking up the gun. Oh. Uh man. The youth it's a crazy generation now. Yeah. Especially um Especially when it comes down to where we're from. Yeah. As in, not just the area, but the whole state yeah, the period, as a whole. Period. The state, man, yeah. the state of Louisiana is a hard state. It's a very hard <clears throat> state. You know, most most of these guys out here, you know what I'm saying? We we grow up, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Growing up listening to long clips and choppers, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? Boosie shit, you know what I'm saying? We, this, this is the shit that we come from. And you know what I'm saying? Some of us, you know what I'm saying? It's not that we don't want to spark the idea of positivity at all. The revolution has always been in the hands of the youth. The old get old. Mm -hmm. But with that being said, you know, it's not that we don't want to spark the idea of positivity or we can't spark the idea of positivity. It's just the fact that we're born in an environment to where we have no choice but to adapt. <clears throat> and that be the cause of young guys wanting to pick up their guns and, you know what I'm saying, put down their pencils and stop turning in tests and start turning in, you know what I'm saying, yeah. this weight, so to speak. <coughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy that you say that because I was thinking about asking you some other questions, but you answered them by... <laughs> that one question. <laughs> I, I get that a lot. <laughs> oh damn! All right, you should answer it all my questions. Hey, you get the action. Here. <clears throat> oh yeah, about your mixtapes. Shit. That's a topic. Yeah. Shit about your mixtapes. When when you plan on dropping? Well, more often. More <laughs> more often. Yeah, I'll say. Um, with the two projects that I did, Minister of Defense, To Die for the People, they were all, what I noticed about those projects, they was kind of like, uh, they were only, I dropped Minister of Defense January 28th of 2020. <laughs> and on March, that following March, March 8th, I dropped To Die for the People. And it was only like two months apart. And it was only like within that space, that's what I had to work with and a little bit before Minister of Defense. But I noticed like they were pretty good projects, but they could have been done with more quality. So that's why that explains my reason for taking time off from the music and not putting anything out there. Usually I really just uploaded videos for a little bit just to pick up on those last year tapes. Yeah, yeah, I get that, I get that. But, I get that. Um, as far as new music, I have three singles out. Uh, one single is with Brianna Martin, Another Day. I just recently dropped this. Uh, I see that. Dreamer's Revenge, that's another one out. I like that track. A lot of people is liking that track. You should go check that out. Yep. But, uh, and there's another one that I have out called Hugging the Block. I don't really want to get into too much detail on that, but that's a pretty nice track too. Hmm, hmm. But um, I have a project coming Independence Day. On Independence Day, July 4th, 2021, it will be Poems and Insights. It'll be a small EP consisting of a few tracks, including the singles that I just released. But talking, you were talking to me before we got the recording, talking about. 9-11. 9-11. What do you mean on that one? 9-11. That, uh, that is quite the date for America. Mm -hmm. As we all know, the World Trade Center. But 9-11, uh, we was talking about that. I'm going to explain it for them. That we were 
talking about my mixtape, the next one that is to be released for after To Die For The People, my next mixtape is gonna be In Search Of Common Ground. Um, I decided to drop it on 9-11, 2021, 20 years after the original crashing of the World Trade Center. But it's, what I wanna bring to the table with that mixtape is some historical, you know, revolutionary music, you know, trying to unite people in a sense. Uh, that kind of music to where it could spark ideas to other people who's listening, uh, catch the attention of, you know what I'm saying, the youth, majority rules. I mean, my music is for everyone, but I'm really trying to get into the youth because I feel like they need to hear this the most. But um, In Search of Common Ground is coming 9-11. And uh, with those tracks that I'm gonna have on it, you know, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna open some people's eyes. Just stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. And I believe that you say that too. I believe it when you say that. <laughs> I believe that. Well, just to think about 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 making music videos. Yeah. When you make your music videos, are you gonna wait? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but about the music video. When you make your music videos. When you when you get them, yeah. Do fuck with how I'm about to get out Hold up, hold up. Give me, give me, give me a minute. Give me a minute. I'm trying to pit it out a way, a way that you can understand. <laughs> oh yeah. When you make your music videos, when you when you post post them. Instead of posting them on, on YouTube, you might post them on Facebook or uh, all that other stuff. Yeah. If you post your music video on Facebook, I know that helps a lot because you probably got a lot of ads, followers. Yeah. And when your family, when your family see, you, see, see, see you, what do they see you as? Like, do they like it? Think it's bad? As far as my music? Yeah. Um... That man, I I really don't even know how to answer it. I really don't. I mean, I'm not even quite sure if they all listening. Some are, I know for sure. Then there's others I just don't know. But what I do know is that my music is for the greatest of purposes. I believe is the greatest of purposes. And you know, it express my my love for art because I'm I I love art all around the board whatever it is whether it's music photography drawing whatever like I'm all around the board so this is the kind of thing like I don't I vent to the mic and you know what I'm saying sometimes like you know what I'm saying it's it'd be hard for me to vent to some of those family members can't say their names but are those friends or whatever but you know what I'm saying it's if they listening to me, I'm doing all the venting there. But as far as them liking it, disliking it, I just I just hope they support it. Are there any famous artists that you wanna work with? Any famous artists? Of course. Of course, J. Cole and Kendrick Lamar are at the top of that list. <laughs> but I'm going to just go back and <laughs> name some other guys. Um, DJ Drama. That's somebody I do want to work with. Um, DJ Drama. There's guys like DJ Khaled I want to work with. Meek Mill. Um, I want to work with J.I.D., Jiddy Jid, Boz, Omen, really the whole Dreamville and T TDE squad, of course, but OMB OM Peasy, that's another guy I like. <laughs> there is it's quite a few names that's on that list. There's quite a, man, there's, I work with anybody, anybody. 
but you know you know how this industry goes some friendships go sour because of things like this you know what i'm saying if we could if we could get on the same page i'm willing to work yeah but for this x nation video what do you really think about the interview how did you really feel about it did you enjoy it did it help you in a way type stuff oh or? i'm i'm open to talk anytime open to talk. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. That's, that's good it's good how you answer that it's good how you answer that Well, it was pretty good. I like all the questions you answered. I like how you said it. I like how you put it out there to them. I guess they, they I know for a fact they will understand it. That's <laughs> how you said it. Yeah, I got confused a little bit by how I was talking. Yeah. But I got it, man. Everything I answered correctly. But hey, that... <laughs> Thanks for having me, Jado. Yeah. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs>